Brave Beans, it's Green Cosplay again. In this video, I will be challenging myself to do something cosplay related every single day, at least one hour for a week. I have wanted to make this kind of video for a while now, and you have probably seen these kind of challenge videos in YouTube before because they are pretty popular. The basic format is doing something for X amount of time for a period of time. The first examples that come to mind is either reading or drawing every single day for X amount of time for a week or a month or even a year. And I have made a list of stuff that I would like to get done or at least start making in this video. Sewing, crafting, editing, filming, organizing. Well, anything cosplay related, mostly stuff that I have been putting off. <laughs> I thought it would be nice to start this week pretty chill. I have two smaller projects that I would like to finish today. And then I might also prep some small things for the rest of the week. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna start by finishing this hairband. I made some antlers and then ears for my phone OC. Apparently one of the flowers decided to yeet out from the earring. I made him some earrings. They're really cute. He's a soft boy. I don't know why I just stopped making this project, like immediately when I finished the ears and then sewing these were very beautiful <laughs> antlers. They are... I'm gonna probably make like better ones in the future, but this was the materials that I had at that time. Um, but all I have to do is just glue them on the hairband and it's done. <laughs> so I don't know why I stopped making this project. But I just, I don't know, I lack motivation, I guess. So this is what I'm going to start with. done i think they turned out pretty cute the antlers are kind of wonky <laughs> looking but uh i really like the ears and especially the earrings they're just so cute and this is actually the wig that i'm planning to use with my phone oc and you might see him later in this video if i'm able to film the stuff that i want to do <laughs> it's been like 45 minutes so I still have at least 15 minutes to go that I quote unquote have to do something. And I do want to finish that other project that I was talking about. I still have like an hour until I have to eat a little bit and then I have my thesis seminar. It's online, so I don't have to go anywhere, but um, I'm kind of hungry already, so I might eat now, and I don't know if I then have time to finish or even start making the other project. So I might just chill out for a while and actually maybe tidy up because I made a mess. Every time I craft something, I just make a mess. Um, so I might just do that and then after the seminar, I'm gonna start the other project. Okay, the thesis seminar is done and now I'm going to upload a YouTube video and start making the second project of the day. It's really small, I'm just going to make an earring for Robin. 
Robin de Noir from Secret of the Moonacre. I have finally started to get stuff together for him. I just found pants for him and I bought a hat for him as well. Kind of a funny thing is that I'm not even sure if he has an earring because when I was looking at some reference pictures yesterday evening, I realized that the feathers that you can see below his other ear are not necessarily an earring or it's really difficult to say. It might be a hair accessory or it might be some kind of thing dangling on his scarf or something, but I like the idea of making an earring out of feathers, so that's what I'm going to make. So I've got different feathers here, they are from a jewelry that I really don't use anymore. This was one of my favorite necklaces like as a teenager um, they're pretty nice fluffy feathers in this one and then I've got two of these um, like pins you can have in your hair I have actually used these a couple of times but most of the times that I actually wanted to wear these I was too shy because I don't know it's not really quote-unquote normal maybe now I might have courage to actually wear these but um, I don't know if they're my style anymore. So I'm just gonna see which ones do I want to use. This is a very small project, so shouldn't take long. Another project done. It's very simple, but you can imagine it there, hanging there. I think it looks nice. It doesn't really look the same as in the reference pictures, but I really like it and I actually might use it myself, possibly in real life as well. And I really like the idea that if I make something for a costume, I can also use it myself. I think that's it for today. I'm going to continue this challenge tomorrow. My mom is going to be here helping me to sew, so some sewing content coming in a second. I just want to say that I'm so happy that I'm finally starting to actually make Robin. I think I rewatched the movie like a year ago or something, like last year in January or something like that. And I just kind of fell in love with the movie again. I don't remember when was the last time that I saw it, like as a teenager or something. And it kind of got me off guard that I was so excited about the costumes. Like I just think that the costumes in the movie are very pretty and they are just I don't know, I just like how everything looks in the movie in general, like all the sets and everything. And I was very surprised how much I really loved especially Robin's look and I just knew that I need to make a cosplay of him. And now I'm finally actually starting to make stuff. I actually found a fabric last year for his shirt, so I've got one fabric for him. And then, well, now I made the earring. And last year I also got some feathers for his collar. And a couple of days ago I went downtown with my friend and I bought a hat for him. And also I just found really good leather pants for him from second hand. And they were really cheap, like for leather pants. They are a bit too tight, so I have to see what I can do, it's only on the waist, otherwise they fit very well. I'm kind of hoping that maybe this summer I could just do some kind of like a light version of him, maybe have a little photo shoot in the woods or something in the summer. And even though this was such a small project, it's still like a small step towards the 
and the goal of having the cosplay but i think i am going to finish uploading the video check that everything is okay with it and i don't know chill for the rest of the day but i'll see you tomorrow hello it's thursday and the third day of the challenge i actually didn't sew anything yesterday but i did manage to cut all the pieces for the jacket for noctis um the thing is, <laughs> we had to modify a jacket pattern for Noctis and even though we try to be really simplistic and clear, like make clear markings on the patterns, um, there's just so many markings because there's so many modifications that we had to do over and over again. So it took a while for us to try to kind of decipher what needs to be done in each pattern piece so that took a huge chunk from yesterday's um, project making cutting the pieces actually went really well but while i was cutting everything i started to feel tired and just a bit cranky <laughs> because i also had quite a lot of anxiety yesterday and that usually makes me really cranky sometimes and just tired so i decided that i would rather just stop here and continue the project later because if i start suing something and i'm not really concentrating and i'm annoyed then i might fuck it up so we're gonna continue the jacket maybe next week later when we both have time i also forgot to look at the time when we started to make the jacket. We estimated it took like around 30 minutes to cut the fabric but I have no idea how long it took us to look at the patterns and everything. So technically it took at least an hour I think because we actually spent a lot of time looking at the patterns and just <laughs> trying to understand what was going on with them. But I also felt like I want to do something else as well, just even a small little project, even just start something else because I felt like I just need to do something else for the video or just in general I just felt unsatisfied that I just want to get something else done. And I finally started to make a banner for the Magical Readathon. So I am taking part of Book Roast's readathon challenge. It's kind of like um it's a readathon that also has some role playing in it. So I have made a character and while I read in the reading challenge, the character is kind of making choices and all that kind of stuff going on. Last year um we created the characters. I'm actually still reading one book for the character creation part and we traveled or the characters traveled to the Aurelium Academy which is a school of magic or like school for learning magic or honing your magic skills and we got sorted in guilds kind of like in Hogwarts you have your houses but we have guilds and Nephion, my character got into what was that called oh my gosh <laughs> what was my guild's name archivists so this is the banner um it has a little scroll in it i actually had to retrace this one twice yeah this is the first one that i tried to trace from my computer but then the fabric kind of moved and then the lines were crooked and just wrong so I had to do it all over again. I did forgot to look at the time again <laughs> while I was doing this but when I started to trace the second time around it took me 15 minutes to do that so I think I got maybe like 30 minutes more done and I'm just like, I'm okay. I'm, I'm gonna do this challenge in a way of it's gonna be really laid back and chill. I don't want this to be any kind of grinding or anything like that. I want this to be fun. And also it motivates me more to think that I have only one hour to do every single day. 
and I don't have to do anything else. And even though if I don't really make anything that's big or like a bigger project or something like that every single day, like I don't have to finish everything and I don't have to like do anything. Like I don't have to do too much, you know? I want this to be a chill vlog where I'm gonna try to at least one hour a day just try to do something and even though if it's just a small step like yesterday uh, I only cut the pieces for the jacket for Noctis it's still one step towards the goal like that's the end goal of getting a jacket and even though if I'm just using one hour a day for something it's more than just my usual how I do stuff is that I don't do anything and then in like one or two days I'm just grinding and then I get really tired because I am like doing too much at once. But anyway, this banner is going to be an accessory for Nepheon. I'm going to cosplay him in the future. I do have some stuff already for him but I also want to display the banner somewhere, maybe on my bookshelf somewhere because it's gonna be pretty uh, nice looking because this is going to be all golden embroidery and I might actually start it today but my main goal for today is to at least start to reorganize my cosplay and other hobby stuff it's not even that bad, it's not that terrible but it's starting to annoy me <laughs> and the problem is that I do have space for stuff but the problem is that the things that I have are in such a wide range of different kind of supplies so that because there's so many things that they kind of don't fit into the same categories that then I have just a lot of different categories of stuff but then they don't really fit together or something so it would be really ideal to have like okay this shelf is for this stuff and then this shelf is for this stuff but then everything kind of mixes together I don't think I will be able to go through all of my stuff today but I have in mind to start at least actually my bookshelf because down here I've got all my fabrics and then I've got some other stuff as well and then in my bedroom I have one main cupboard that has most of my stuff so I'm kind of hoping that if I can at least get those sorted out because those are the storage spaces that I am going to use the most or I like those are the ones that I use the most. So that's what I'm gonna start with and I hope this might be possibly maybe interesting to watch and maybe satisfying okay let's get started uh, although there is one thing that i want to show you before i start reorganizing stuff so you might be thinking that i'm wearing a skirt right now but actually they're pants secret pants i found these from a thrift store only 9 euros and they're so cute kind of remind me of a um, Victorian cycling pants and one of the main reasons why I actually bought this was because Rachel have made these kind of pants and I when I saw that video I was like I kind of want them like I want to make those kind of pants or buy them even though I have never really been interested in these kind of clothes but thank you Rachel for <laughs> recommending this we <laughs> I don't know that's that's it that was the only thing that I wanted to show you because I, I don't know I think they're really cute and cool <laughs> okay um also, I think I might be just a little bit um, procrastinating, so let's get started. <laughs> so this is my bookshelf. 
these books and then in here you can already see something peeking through there <laughs> in these this one and this one i've got my fabrics or at least most of them and then in those two drawers i've got some beads and papers and stuff like that Th that's like the worst mess these are just kind of <laughs> let me so show you let's see if this does the thing uh, am i zoomed in no Let's see if this does the thing that it usually does when I open it. Oh no, they are not falling. I'm so exposing myself <laughs> right now. The fun thing is that I didn't even remember that I have actually <laughs> this much stuff in there. There's this, this is a big pile and it all fit in there. Yeah, this is, um, this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Okay, I went through the fabric, so the biggest pile, it looks really bad, I know, I'm gonna <laughs> go through them and then make them all neat. So the biggest pile is one single color, no pattern fabrics, and there's quite a lot of them. And then there is anything that has anything pattern. This is very beautiful, I don't know what to make out of it. Um, yeah don't get distracted it's pretty fabric done <laughs> then i've got this scrap one that left out from my donatello cosplay so i actually might move this to my other shelves they are not as bad as these shelves were so i might actually transfer some other fabrics there as well and then there is the old tablecloth material stuff and then I found also these. There's just a lot of string for some reason. Um, these are not gonna be... This is actually... Um, this is really old. Uh, I just wanted to keep it, even though um, this is my grandmother's sewing machine. Um, she doesn't have it anymore, but it's just so cute. I wanted to have it and I really don't know where to put it. So I guess that's why it ended up there, but I'm just gonna find a new home for it as well. Um, yeah, I think now I'm just gonna try to make these piles more neat and just put them back in the shelves. This is the next shelves that I'm gonna go through. So I've got some softer fabrics here, like more stretchy fabric. So here's the next pile that I'm going through. Got some really old fabric here. It's really, really so soft, but I used to do hobby horse stuff when I was younger. So I still got some fabrics that I was supposed to use for the next horses. I actually got some uh, like patterns here as well. It doesn't look like a pattern, but trust me, it's a it's a pattern. <laughs> it says Jack Hood because this is I took this pattern out from Jacksepticeye's PMA hoodie. I used that hood as a reference. I don't know what to do with this chunky boy. Maybe it can hang out in there. Who knows? But. At least, I think these are all in the same category, like I'm just gonna put them back more neatly. But then these fabrics don't really fit in the category, so I'm gonna squeeze them in here because now they actually fit in there. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, it is 1.30, so I have already done one hour and five minutes for the challenge. And all of the bookshelves um, stuff is organized. There is a lot of mess right now going on on my floor because I found so many stuff that just doesn't fit in here anymore, but I kind of know maybe where to put them um, and I'm surprised all of the shelves and the drawers looked like they were just full that there was no room at all but now there's actually a lot of extra room so if I will continue this reorganizing project today if I find some stuff on the other uh, cupboards in my bedroom that could transfer to here it might be amazing because they are full as well well they are not organized so they look like they're really full so I'm gonna show you the final results of um, how everything looks like now and um, then I think I'm going to start making food with my grandmother and I'm gonna eat but I'm just gonna show you the final results and then I'm gonna eat because I'm really really hungry so this is how the first drawer looks like there's just literally my old sticker album and it looks really bad because there's a lot of stuff in it but it's just scrap stuff and then I've got some paper in here and then some um, other like crafting papers and then the bead stuff this is actually pretty full cool. I got all my cards in there I am planning on making like a card holder thingy so this is temporary and then there's the sheets and the um, I don't know what you call this like a palette where you put the beads on and then there is some like um, all the stuff that I need for letter writing and the beads and then I just put the like glitter tubes in there. I don't really use them because I don't really like glitter. I just have them. I got them, I think, from my grandma or something. But um, yeah, it's not the most nice looking right now. But I think it's a lot better than what it was. 